Joining me now is Joe Fernandes, who is VP Cloud Platforms Business Unit at Red Hat. Joe, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for having me. Now, in your conversations with telecom service providers, what are the key themes that you're hearing and how can Red Hat help? Yeah, so Red Hat has been working with telecom service providers for quite a long time with our Red Hat Enterprise Linux solutions and our broader open source portfolio. But over the past few years, what we've really been helping them with is the virtualization of their network functions. Uh, and so service providers have been moving towards uh, VNFs for their uh, network functions uh, and adopting open source solutions and specifically Red Hat OpenStack as the platform uh, to enable those. Um, and then more recently, service providers are also adopting Linux containers and Kubernetes uh, and, you know, really interested in that. And so, uh, so we see now a movement towards adopting containerized network functions as well. And Red Hat is a leader in, in that market with Red Hat OpenShift. So, um, so yeah, I think the, the v, uh, VNF and CNF adoption are, are two of the really hot topics that we've been engaging with them on. So what does the transition from VNF to CNF imply? Yeah, I wouldn't really call it a transition. What we see is uh, both of these being critical, right? So, um, so again, uh, uh, the service providers have been virtualizing those network functions now for several years, uh, you know, taking those, deploying them as virtual machines, leveraging OpenStack uh, as the platform for those. Uh, and now, for certain functions, uh, containers will be the best way to package and deploy them. Um, some of those will be evolution of, of virtualized functions, you know, but a lot of that will be new applications. And so, you know, we're really happy that we can support that through OpenShift and really support uh, op uh, VNFs and CNFs together uh, on this uh, shared platform. Now, there's a lot of discussion and talk at the moment around 5G and the edge. How does Red Hat's cloud platforms team support these technologies? Yeah, so well, you know, 5G and Edge, uh, Edge in particular, is really an extension of our hybrid cloud strategy, right? So, what Red Hat uh, provides is a cloud platform that spans all of these different footprints, from the data center to different public clouds, and then out to the edge. Uh, and so, we're enabling uh, our customers to to drive both uh, virtualized network functions to the edge by deploying. OpenStack in a more distributed fashion toward to edge locations, um, and then uh, talking to customers about uh, OpenShift and how they can run containerized network functions at the edge, um, and run them consistently with how they would run those, you know, closer to the core data center or in other footprints as well. And what can you tell us about some of Red Hat's recent announcements, uh, such as the latest OpenStack and OpenShift platforms? Yeah, so. Recently, we launched Red Hat OpenStack Platform 16. This is the latest uh, version of our, uh, of our OpenStack solution, brings in the latest innovation from the OpenStack upstream community, where Red Hat is, uh, is driving a lot of that information together with other contributors. Uh, and it's also a long life release, which is important for our service provider partners, giving them the assurance that, that they can uh, you know, rely on this platform for, for multiple years. Um, so that, that was just announced. We were going to feature it at Mobile World Congress, but I'm really happy that we can talk about it here. Um, and then on the OpenShift side, uh, just a, uh, about a year ago, we launched OpenShift 4, which is the latest version of our Kubernetes platform. Uh, and we, uh, we recently released OpenShift 4.3 and are about to release 4.4. This brings a whole bunch of new innovations around how to manage a Kubernetes-based environment and how to drive uh, new workloads into that environment workloads in, that are particular interest to the service providers like uh, containerized network functions as well as AI, machine learning, and analytics. Well, Joe, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you so much.